The film starts with child psychologist Tom Seymour and his painter wife Lauren walking by a river when they see a boy jumping into the water to kill himself. Tom jumps into the river to save the drowning boy and actually manages to bring him back to shore. The boy is then taken to the hospital. So Tom follows up by going to the hospital and finding out that the boy is named Ian Wilkinson. When he goes to see Ian in his ward, Ian seems to recognize him. Tom realizes that the kid is actually Danny Miller, an old patient of his who's now assumed a different identity. Danny has just been released from jail after serving a 12-year sentence for killing an old woman when he was just 11 years old. Worse is that Tom had testified at the hearing that ultimately put Danny in jail. Meanwhile, Tom is working with the court on another criminal case involving a child. Angela, his colleague and Danny's parole officer, tells Tom that she thinks Danny is exceptional and smart and should be given another chance. She thinks that Tom can actually help Danny, but also asks him not to tell his wife, Lauren, about him. That night, when Lauren is on a trip to New York for work, Danny shows up at Tom's house. He wants to talk to Tom about what had happened all those years ago. Danny says that he was put in jail for a crime he didn't commit, and that he's angry that Tom gave a testimony that destroyed his life. Concerned about what Danny might do in his rage, Tom asks him to leave. On his way out, though, Danny steals a picture of Lauren. The next night, Tom receives a call from Angela, who informs him that Danny tried to check himself back into the penitentiary and that the facility's warden has asked for Danny's therapist to accompany him back safely. Now, since Danny lied to the warden and said that Tom was still his therapist, Tom now has to go pick him up. They go back to Tom's office, and once again, Danny tells Tom how he destroyed his life when he hadn't actually committed the crime. The next morning, Tom finds Danny talking to Lauren in their living room. Apparently, Danny ran into Lauren when she was running an errand. Uncomfortable with Danny mingling with Lauren, Tom decides to drop off Danny at work and tells him to stop coming to his house. That night in his office, Tom is watching an old recording of his therapy session with 11-year-old Danny. The next day, he goes to visit Mrs. Green, one of Danny's teachers from a correctional facility. Mrs. Green tells Tom about how Danny had once stabbed a boy in his English teacher, Angus McDonald's class. She also tells him how Angus had tried to get inappropriately close to Danny during his time at the facility. Tom then goes to visit Danny at his house and confronts him about what he had learned from Mrs. Green. Danny says that Mrs. Green was lying about the stabbing, and Tom's accusation actually infuriates him to the point that he starts trashing his own room. Lauren tells Tom about a solo exhibit that she had been offered and that she has to leave for Brooklyn the next morning. On their way to the train station the next morning, Tom and Lauren stop at a bakery where Lauren strangely runs into Danny again. Danny even follows Lauren all the way to Brooklyn and pretends to run into her at a diner where the two talk and bond over breakfast. Meanwhile, Tom goes to see Danny's English teacher, Angus McDonald, to talk to him about Danny and the stabbing. He's greeted by Angus's secretary, Rowena. Angus tells him about how he had never touched Danny and how Danny had enjoyed stabbing his classmate. As Tom is about to leave in his car, Rowena comes by to get a copy of Tom's psychology book signed. Soon, a casual conversation turns into a romantic encounter in the car. The next morning, Angela calls Tom to tell him that Danny's father, who hates Danny because of what he had done, has somehow found out where his son is. Tom goes to see Mr. Miller and follows him in his car. Mr. Miller confronts Tom, saying that Danny deserves to be back in jail. At the same time, Lauren calls Tom, telling him that she is back from Brooklyn and was cooking dinner with Danny. Scared about what Danny might do to Lauren, Tom hurriedly drives back to his place and tells Danny to leave. The next night, Danny breaks into Tom's office. 
Tom finds him watching the recording in which Danny had confessed to killing the old woman. Now on the tape, a young Danny says that he had gone to the old woman's house to steal something to feed his cats, but when the woman appeared out of nowhere and blocked his way, he wasn't able to run. So he kicked her, making her fall down the stairs. She was barely breathing when Danny suffocated her with a cushion. Danny says that she seemed like a chicken with its head chopped off. Tom presses Danny to tell him more about what had happened after he had killed the woman, but Danny gets flustered and leaves. The next day, Tom gets reminded of the old woman's house as he's going through Danny's case file. He decides to go to the house, and he actually finds Danny there with a gun. Danny is still angry at Tom for not helping him all these years. Things heat up when Danny threatens to kill both Tom and himself if Tom didn't follow his instructions. Danny proceeds to tape a chicken which he has brought with him to Tom's hand and chops the bird's head off. He wants Tom to feel what he had felt when he had killed the old woman. He says that he hadn't liked doing it and apologizes. Tom consoles him when Mr. Miller shows up with a bat clearly with the intention to hurt Danny. Tom asks Danny to hide upstairs and gets into a scuffle with Mr. Miller. He shoots at Mr. Miller with the gun that he had taken from Danny, but finds out that it wasn't loaded and Danny had been bluffing. Tom ultimately hits Danny's dad on the head with the gun, while Danny deviously watches. Fourteen months later, Tom is reading his newly launched book to an audience somewhere in Portland. Danny shows up at the reading and tells Tom that he goes to school in Portland now. Tom is shocked when he sees Rowena, the girl he had earlier slept with, come up to Danny and kiss him. To make him even more uneasy, Danny tells Tom that he has written a story about a kid who starts messing with his former child psychiatrist. Even though he seems to be peeved by the hidden meaning behind Danny's story, Tom offers to drop him off to college on his way to the airport. In the car, Tom realizes that Danny hasn't stopped stalking Lauren when he finds out that Danny knows about Lauren being pregnant with a son. Aware that Danny doesn't know how to swim, Tom deliberately crashes his car into a nearby river. In the final scene, as we see the car submerging in the water, Tom safely gets to the shore, while Danny, presumably, drowns to his death.